Howdy, um, we're doing Dug Out by the Backseat Lovers. I almost said the Backstreet Boys, but I didn't. So Dug Out, um, we'll start with just four basic chords, which are in the verse, but like all of their songs, it jumps around heaps and they don't play full chords. But this is kind of like the camp campfire version, if you know what I mean. Like if you're sitting with an acoustic guitar and you wanted to play it loud, so the chords are A, pretty sure they're playing it open, so that's like open A, two on the D, two on the G, two on the B, open E. It's got that really sort of languid, easy um, strumming pad. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you go to an A major seventh. So you have to sort of shift your fingers around, you move. I just would move that one up to there. So now that finger's on the second fret, and this one moves down to the first fret on the G. Right, so A. Yep. Then there's a D. Open D, leave out these top front, D, second fret G, third fret B, second fret E. And then they change that D major into a D minor. So this finger moves up and takes the place of that one. On the second fret on the G, this moves down to the first fret on the E. So it's got that classic, you know, they use it in... Radiohead use it in Creep, um, Michelle by uh, Sir Chloe, you know that. Anyway, I digress, getting back to Dugout, A, A major 7, D, D minor. Um, now, they, like I was saying before, they just add lots of sort of single notes that outline the chords, you know, play the notes in the chords. So they're definitely starting with the A and the A major 7th. But instead of playing the D like that, they pick through notes within that chord. So starting with the open D, then 4th fret, um, fret on the D, which is an F sharp. 2nd fret of the G, and I do like a little mini bar here because we're going to also play the 2nd fret on the B, so I have that sort of covering those. In fact, they, they probably strum it a bit too. I would. Either one of those two things. So, 0, 4, 2 and 2, 2 and 2 and 2. Then back to the 4 and the G, and back to the 2 and the G. So I'm grabbing that with my little finger, you don't have to. And then they do like a passing note, so they go from the 4 and then to the 3rd. So that goes from an F sharp to an F, which is what happens with a D to a D minor. So, and then those same two. So I hope you get that. So D, zero, four, G and B, two, four on the G, back to the two on the G, D string, four, three on the D, G, B. Then back into the string. Then 
The second time they don't go down to the two, they just hold the four. Um, then it changes up and they play an E7 in this position. So we've got seven on the A, six on the D, seven on the G, five on the B. Um, and I'm muting the high E with that finger. That's also an E, the same note as that, so it doesn't really matter if you're strumming that. But they've, they've got like that very sort of, you know, kind of jazzy. In fact, uh, at least I think they do. I'm going to have a quick listen. Actually, no, I'm not, because if I listen, then YouTube will think I'm playing their song. So if it's not that strumming, just listen, like. It's really gentle, though. And then back to the A major 7. But I don't think they're playing it open. I think they're playing it in this same position based on the 5th fret. So that would be 5th fret on the E, little finger on the 7th fret of the A, then D is 6 and G is 6. Yeah, so... So far, so good, I think. Then they changed to another little bit, which again is an A major 7th, but they've moved it all the way up an octave. So we're starting on the 12th fret. 12 on the A, 14 on the D, 13 on the G, 14 on the B. But they're picking it. You can do it with a pick or you can do it with... Sorry. I'm, am I mirrored? No, I'm not mirrored. Ah, confusing. Um... So basically they're just playing the, the A string on the 12, then the G and the B strings together, 13 and 14, then back up to the 14 on the D. Then we're going to move down to a minor, which is an F sharp minor. Um, so it's that minor shape, but right up there on the 9th fret. So we've got 9 on the A, 11 on the D, 11 on the G and 10 on the B, and that same picking pattern, top one, bottom two together, and then back to that one, so. Um, now they've got like a bunch of other guitars playing underneath, some really nice bits like a. which is a lead bit. So that's like a hammer on and a pull off on the B string from nine to 10 and then back to nine. Then grab the 10 on the G. Oh, sorry, the nine on the G. And then play it again and slide down to six. And that goes under both those chords. You can see those notes are literally in that chord. Yep, all good so far, I hope. I'll, I'll like run through it quickly at the end, like all in one go. Um, but hopefully I'm covering enough detail. Um, then they've got a bit where it goes heavy, starts getting heavy and that's a, and that's just an A chord, like an A bar chord, but I don't think they're playing the low bass notes. So they're probably just playing literally from there down. So I'm just shifting that. So it's like that across the two fives, G string six, D string seven. But that means barring, I mean, muting the top ones. And then a D bar chord. So fifth on the A, then a row of sevens on the D, G and B. So you can either do it like that or the double bar. And there's another guitar doing that, that repeated sort of motif from the start. So it's just nine, seven, five, nine, seven, five. Um, it pretty much covers it. There's one other bit that only happens twice, and they're sort of heavy sort of power chords, which is just a run from a, a D chord on 10 down to the B, 
on seven and ending on an F sharp. So if they were playing full chords, um, that one would be a major, so all of But the other two would probably be a minor, but you don't need to worry about it because you only need to play the top two notes or the top three. So um, 10, 12, 12, 7, so 7, 9, 9, and then 2, 4, 4. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to play it through again. So we've got the A. To the major seventh. Seven, nine, six, I mean seven, six, seven, five, A major seventh, five, seven, six, six. My thumb's not doing anything except muting that top one, and that's more of a habit because doesn't matter if you play because they both E's. Okay, then we're going up to 12 and play another A major 7th, right up high there. And then an F sharp minor, which occurs again in that bar chord, so that would be minor. Anyway, I digress and I'm confusing. So, I'm pretty sure I've covered um, If you've got any questions, just contact me or... Um, write in the comments um, and I'll check it back and if I missed anything I'll put some words up okay have fun keep playing